if you know it's actually a problem, these uh, now this being a brand new one right here, and, and the problem is is right down in here. There ain't no undercut in there. Matter of fact, it's a step down coming out this way. I know it's for injection molding to come out. If it had an undercoat, you couldn't get it out. But someone needs to go ahead and make these. I mean, you could put in a lathe. It'd be worth doing probably cut a small groove around the inside of that so that your spark plug wire snap in there. It's not good. Just saying, none of them has it. It don't matter who you buy from, they're all the same. So, yeah, it's not good. But I'm going to use it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the, I'll go ahead and put these covers on this on this mag right here, and uh, it's going at three horsepower over. There. And um, well, it's got good threads in there. So making note that the little spring arm on this cover by that rivet there is making contact with the little sticker out thing on the uh, It's making 100% contact. It's worth it's worth making sure. Waco EK. Now let's go put on that engine.
Well, i show you something. I'm going to show you how to, uh, I'm going to show you how to, some people's going to smile about this idea. I, I, I'm, I'm going to convert this, this is a one and a half horsepower Type M International Cormac Darren IAC. It's EK Waco made it. Uh, Magneto and this is the side cover off of the engine one and a half horsepower I cut the crankshaft off front and back I show it to you it's got the gearing and everything uh, timing would be See right there would be the timing marks on the M. It's two on this. There's two dots on this gear here. And there's one dot on this one. And you line them up. So that's the way it works. What makes a perfect little EK test stand? Well, we're going to pair it up here with that electric drill right there. I, I've done already got the correct amount of shims in there. It's got grease in the fittings and all, oil, everything. And the reason for it, in a bracket with a good ground, and that's one of them, that's one of them test plugs right there, and that's a quarter of an inch from that plug over to the side right there. It's way too much. Shouldn't be doing it. But for test purposes, I think it's all right. Everything's adjusted. It's in the run position. The lever retards and admits is the spark. Has a couple of indents right there. The way that works. Simple. And, and, and I'll tell you something. If you have if you have one of these McCormick Darren M's and you have it uh, running a piece of equipment and you run it in that start position up here your engine will get hot it'll boil the water out of it it's not the correct timing on it but but all, all i got here is the spark plug and that's one of them new new fittings right there and it's iffy at best but you can see it just comes around to this plug right here and and what i'm going to do I'm going to put this on that three horsepower over there. And it's only one and a half horsepower. So I'm going to adapt this one and a half horsepower Wyco EK Magneto to a three horsepower type with the help of this adapter right here. Now we're going to screw that on the back of that Magneto and then we're going to go over and screw it on that engine. But first, let's look at that spark right there. Well, I'm going to turn the lights out. But, as uh, simple as this, um, I got a little oil on them gears right there. And that's just a piece of angle arm for a base. Oh, it's worth the pause. You know, got a little blues in the background there, you know, when you're watching one of my videos there, be advised, I think. Well, now what's going to happen is I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to put this in that crankshaft right there, and, and I'm going to spin that crankshaft as if the engine was running and we're going to observe the spark up here at the test plug engines in the run position oh 
this is going to be iffy at best. And we ain't going to be able to see nothing. It's stone dark in here. Well, we'll give it a try. If I can get this in that right there. I should, I should have thought about this a little bit more. But, you know, if you got the radio on there, you're all right. Okay, I think I got it in there. Watch this. Simply amazing. Well, I'm not sure if we recorded any of that right there, but I'll show you what we did. This year, the drill, back to pair, and, and, and that right there is a quarter inch drive. That's a socket fitted into that crankshaft right there. And, and all I'm going to do is turn it in the direction of travel and observe the spark right there, at the, and that's a quarter of an inch gap. It's never failed, it's never failed sparking. I'll show you the reason why. But first, let's see a spark again. If it trips, it fars. Wyco E K. Tennessee, the geographical center of something. Shop dog sound. I should put a regular spark plug in there. Observe that. You okay? The spark's going to be right up there in that spark plug. That's a CJ14 up there, you know. Uh, it's just uh, soldered onto a spring clamp. And the spark plug wire goes around up here to the magneto. Set in run position. Oiled up, greased, and everything. Uh, hand drill battery powered. A uh, rotation is correct for the run another engine.
let's go put that on the engine.